Hi everyone, this is Ramkrishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss APC 2019 differential equations, question number 43 from paper 2. And the question is, the general solution of the equation y double dash minus 4y dash plus 13y is equals to 18 into e power 2x into sine 3x is dash. And the four options are, option number 1 y of x is equal to e power 2x into c1 cos root 3x plus c2 sin root 3x minus 6 e power x into sin 3x. Option number 2 y of x is equal to e power 2x into c1 cos root 3x plus c2 sin root 3x plus uh, 3x e power 2x into cos 3x. Option number 3 y of x equal to e power 2x into c1 cos 3x plus c2 sin 3x minus 3x into e power 2x into cos 3x and option number 4 y of x equal to e power 2x into c1 cos 3x plus c2 sin 3x plus uh, 3x e power 2x into sin 3x so we have to choose one correct option from this uh, 4 and here we use uh, differential operator notations so coming to the solution here the given equation in operator form can be written as here d by dx is nothing but capital D that is a differential operator so given equation can be written in differential operator form as d square minus 4d plus 13 into y is equals to 0 and corresponding auxiliary equation of this equation is uh, m square minus 4m plus 13 is equals to 0. Now we use uh, this formula minus b plus r minus square root of d square minus 4ac by 2a to find the roots of this quadratic equation. So here m is equals to given by 4 plus r minus here minus b is nothing but uh, minus 4. So it becomes 4 plus r minus square root over b square means 16 minus 4 ac means uh, this is uh, 4 minus 4 into 13. So that value is equals to minus 52. Okay. Here b square minus 4 ac. So here minus 4 into a is equal to 1 and c is equal to 13. So 4ac means that value is equal to minus 52 and that implies m is equal to 4 plus r minus square root over minus 36 by 2 which is equal to 4 plus r minus 6i by 2. On simplification we get this value is equal to 2 plus r minus uh, 3i. Okay. So m value is equal to 2 plus r minus 3i. So we have complex conjugate roots. So the complementary function yc is given by the formula e power ax into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. Here a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 3. So your complementary function yc is given by e power 2x into c1 cos 3x plus c2 sin 3x. So from this we can... Uh, discard uh, the options option number one and option number two because here it containing cos root 3x and root 3x so we can discard option number one and uh, option number two so we have to verify option number three and option number four okay so here the complementary function is yc is equal to e power 2x into c1 cos 3x plus c2 sin 3x. Now we have to find the particular integral. To find the particular integral yp is equal to 1 by f of t into q of x where q of x is a function is of the form e power ax into v where v is a function of x. Now to find this uh, particular integral of this type of functions so shift e power ax outside and after replacing d by d plus a operate v by f of uh, 1 by f of t plus a so therefore particular integral is given by e power ax into 1 by f of d plus a into v okay so therefore particular integral yp is equals to by using that formula we can write that is uh, particular integral of 18 into 1 by d square minus 4d plus 13 into e power 2x into sine 3x. So it is of the form 1 by f of d into e power ax into v where v is a function in terms of x in place of v we have sine 3x. Now using that formula we can write this is equals to 18 e power 2x into 1 by so shifting e power ax outside 
and replacing d with uh, d plus 2. So in place of d we can write d plus 2. So this is d plus 2 whole square minus 4 into d plus 2 plus 13 into sine 3x. Okay. So on simplification we get this is 18 into e power 2x into 1y. So by using a plus b whole square this can be written as uh, d square plus 4 plus uh, 4d and this is minus 4d minus 8 plus 13 into sine 3x okay so this is equal to 18 into e power 2x into 1 by here minus d minus 4d plus 4d will be gets cancelled so in simplification this value becomes this is d square here plus 4 and minus 8 so this is minus 4 plus 13 means this is uh, plus 9 into sine 3 x okay so here it is of the form 1 by f of uh, d into sine bx form so whenever if the function is of the form since here we have if the function f of d into y is equal to say q where q is equal to sine bx or cos bx where b is a real constant then particular integral 1 by d square plus b square sine bx is equal to minus x by 2b into cos bx this is the formula and for similarly for uh, cos bx we have uh, 1 by d square plus b square cos bx is given by x by 2b into sine bx this is two are standard formulas so whenever given function is f of d into y is equal to q where q is sine bx then in that case we have particular integral 1 by d square plus b square sine bx is equal to minus x by 2b into cos bx so here it is of the form 1 by d square plus 9 into sine 3x so we can use this formula here 9 can be written as 3 square in place of b we have uh, 3 so this is of the form 18 e power 2x into 1 by d square plus 3 square into sine 3x so this is 18 into e power 2x into by using this formula this value 1 by d square plus 3 square into sine 3x is equal to minus x by 2b means this is minus x by 2b means here b is equal to 3 so 2 into 3 into cos bx means cos 3x so in simplification we get uh, this is 6 and this is 18 so its value is equal to what this is equals to so this is equals to minus 3x e power 2x into cos 3x so this is the yp value means a particular integral value therefore the general solution of given equation is yc plus yp that is here yc is nothing but uh, yc is nothing but e power 2x into c1 cos 3x plus c2 sine 3x plus yp means minus 3x e power 2x into cos 3x so this is the required general solution so here option number 3 is correct therefore option number 3 is uh, correct is it clear so option number 3 is correct i hope you like this video if you like the video please share subscribe thanks for watching